From the KDLM studios in Detroit Lakes, it's HodgePodge with Carol McCarthy, presented by Partnership for Health, and now airing on TV3. This morning on HodgePodge, we're going to uh, visit with folks from uh, TV3, a latent broadcasting company. And I have in the studio with me this morning, Raina Zima. Hello, Carol. Good morning. And in a little bit, we'll talk to Erica Gilsdorf. And we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on, uh, TV3, some of the things you're working on, and uh, what, uh, what you're looking at ahead in 2019. Yes. Thanks for letting us come on. I have some notes here, All so right. forgive me for reading off my notes. But... Um, you know, I wanted to mention our community calendar. That is um, an opportunity for anyone with a nonprofit organization to come on and talk about their event with our host for um, about five minutes. So, um, and it's free. Um, so if anyone wants to talk about an event that they have coming up, just give Abby a call here at the radio station at 847-5624 and we will get you on our community calendar. And we shoot that um, every other week. Okay. So if you kind of want to, plan ahead a little bit and get on our schedule. So, um, and then HodgePodge. <laughs> HodgePodge is going to be on TV3 now. This, in so, fact, will be yes. on TV3. <laughs> so, um, not every HodgePodge episode, but right. um, sporadically here. Um, well, I shouldn't say sporadically, but a random HodgePodge will be aired on TV3. Right. So Our goal every week is to film at least one HodgePodge uh, every week to... Uh, air on TV3. So we're working together, kind of getting into that social media that we all love. <laughs> getting into that <laughs> Wait, mode. you love, I don't love. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> Maybe you don't love either. We have either. to love it. <laughs> we have to embrace it, yes, right? Yes. right? <laughs> so we've got that. So we've got hodgepodges airing. We've got community calendar, which I think community calendar is kind of an abbreviated hodgepodge, yes. if you will. Yes. Um, but it is a great way to connect to the community, find out what's going on, you know, days, weeks ahead of time. Yes. Yes. And I mentioned it's free. Okay. Right. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then our museum show is back. And I know I've talked to you about this before, but um, things we've aired recently are um, an episode on Tilly Anderson. She was a world champion bicyclist. And back in the eight, late 1800s, I believe, mm -hmm. in the Victorian era, Victorian area era, and it was just interesting to hear about that and how she has local ties. She, when she, I think, retired from that, she moved to uh, Haida Land area, mm -hmm. um, and has a and her family still has a cabin out there. Um, and it was just interesting to hear about that. And um, then we talked to Ken Larson, who has recently passed away, but he was in a submarine during World War II and his experiences on that. And that was really interesting. And then um, what we're airing this week is a second part of Russell Kent from Ogama talking about his horse training days and how he actually is still training horses. They train his daughter, him and his daughter train horses for teams, a team of horses. And uh, so his second part is airing this week. And all these shows that I'm mentioning, they're available to watch on our website. Okay. So, um, and then along with Russell Kent, we, on TV3, we air extras, um, just things that we can find in the community going on. And Russell's daughter, Mary Tyken, she demonstrated how to harness their team of horses. And it was really interesting. Uh -huh. And um, just to see how, how much time it takes to just get the team ready. And so we have a little extra running on that this week as well, following the museum show. And again, that will also be on our website too, if, if you don't get TV3. Okay, Raina Zima from TV3 in the studio with me this morning, kind of running through some of the things going on on our local TV station, our community TV station, and uh, has been around for a, a long time. <laughs> uh, you do have a lot of great archived stuff on your website too. Yes, our archives go back to 2009, um, but we also will rerun some of those things and we'll put them on our more current archives <laughs> of, of our, our website. Um, like for, for instance, I want to go back to the museum show and we're going to do a third week throwback on our museum show. And so the third week of the month, uh, we're going to air an old episode. I've kind of got some from when Dean Sather was there and he always did a great job. And Joanne Sponskowski was there and did a great job. And Erin um, McMillan 
And so we've got some of those episodes that are going to be coming out too. So. Great. Yeah. I remember all those people. <laughs> wow. What does that mean? Uh, so yeah, some great uh, opportunity to see uh, some of the throwbacks uh, of the museum, which is still around and uh, still very functional and looking at building a new museum. So uh, going to the dive into the archives. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and we've got a lot of programming coming up on uh, TV3. I know that you are always uh, open to ideas uh, from the community. You know, again, with community calendar is maybe the first step. And uh, that's how you get to know people and, you know, generate ideas and, uh, uh, you know, contact Abby uh, at the front office to get on that. Again, it's free. Yes. Um, And then we've also got the... Late in broadcasting the LB video side that uh, you work in conjunction with. Yes, yep, that's our, our production company that we do. And, um, you know, it's a little bit different than TV3, um, a little higher in production, and um, we can work with anybody. Um, we're, we work with Mayville State University. We've done some um, businesses in St. Cloud, Miller Marine and Auto, um, I, some in the cities, iJet Printwear. Um, so it's really anything, really, we can do anything, uh, whether you need like a web video or something for your social media, or you just need us to shoot the video and then you edit it, or if you've shot it and needed it edited, you know, it's, it's really wide open. Well, one thing I have to say, when I first started here in Detroit Lakes for light and broadcasting, I just remember all the clunky equipment <laughs> that you were all around. <laughs> I mean, you had a huge back, you probably still have it, um, but your camera has changed through the years, has downsized and uh, better quality HD uh, <laughs> uh, filming um, yes. as well. Yes, um, yeah, I'm still in therapy with my back on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. how much did that thing weigh? It was a lot, I'm not exactly sure, but it was heavy. Mm-hmm. But And the big tapes. Yes. You know, we used to have a three quarter inch tapes. It was like <laughs> big giant VCR tapes is yeah. what they look like. And I never used that, but we had the machine at our office and right. we got rid of that a long time ago, but uh, it's definitely changed. Mm-hmm. And the studios actually have moved out of the mall to a location on Jackson Avenue. So yep. just moving on up <laughs> <laughs> to the east side. <laughs> to the basement. Right. <laughs> All right, Raina Zima from TV3 in the studio with me this morning talking about programming on TV3 as we head into the new year, 2019. And anything else to add this morning? Um, I did want to talk a little bit about um, one, our I Love the Library show. Oh, yes. You okay. know, Mary Haney re- retired and um, we still are going to be doing the music okay. or the library show, but they're having a retirement party for Mary tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, I think from... Two to four. Okay, I was yes. going to say... Two to three, and but that's that January eighteenth. Yes, January eighteenth. So, um, and that's open to the community, and you know, I'm hoping to get there too and right. say hi to Mary. Um, and then our wellness show is. I I always talk about this with you because I I just love this show. Um, I've taken advantage of some of the um, therapies that we've kind of highlighted on here. Um, so, uh, Matt Koffenberg from Perm um, Back in Motion Perm Physical Therapy. He's had a series called the Five Best. And he does like the five best exercises to prevent injury. He did one on the rotator cuff. He does to your low back, um, your knee. Mm-hmm. And they're just great exercises that you can do at home. Right. To hopefully don't, so you don't have to see him, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, and then Dave Gottenberg out of Pelican Rapids. He's a chiropractor there and he has some great information. Um, he does a lot of natural um, supplements and, and um, just the, the, connection with your spine and all other things you know he adjusted my neck one time when I had a cold oh yeah and it was great you know so there's just a lot of things and then Mahabi Atwa they talk about all their great programs for your like almost like your mental health and your um just physical health of you know having assistance for if you're you know your for your home and your energy assistance and um senior health of you know, just programs out there to help seniors. So, and then um, we do a a, a doctor out of Monaga, but he's actually out of Excelsior, Minnesota, and he does prolotherapy. And I've actually had prolotherapy done on a few different areas of my body and it's been great. And um, so there's just a great resources out there locally for your health. And that's on our Wellness for Life program. 
All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's wonderful. So uh, get, relieve some of the stress. <laughs> Turn <laughs> yeah. on TV3 and yes. find out how. <laughs> okay. Raina Zima from TV3 in the studio with me this morning. And uh, soon to join us, uh, Erica Gilsdorf will be in to talk about a mental health series that she's been working on. And that's coming up next on HodgePodge. Now, back to HodgePodge with Carol McCarthy on KDLM Detroit Lakes. Welcome back to HodgePodge, this 17th day of January 2019. And we're back in front of a live studio audience with Erica Gilsdor from TV3. And she is here to talk about a mental health series that she's been working on and that will be airing at the beginning of February. Good morning, Erica. Good morning, Carol. Thanks. Uh, yes. So let's talk about this uh, mental health series. Uh, we're going to be talking about this as well, um, you know, in the next few weeks as leading up to it. It's some of the guests, some of the people that helped you uh, produce this series. Um, but talk a little bit about how you came upon the series and why it's all come about. Yeah. Um, well, the more we look around, we start to hear more and more people have mental illness challenges, depression, anxiety, um, bipolar. And, and I started to hear how it's, people are kind of, it's under, it's under the cover. So I wanted to broaden awareness on that. And when I started reaching out, it just was great. The flood of people wanting to help out. So Becker County Energize immediately said, we want to be a part of this. And then um, different clinics, mental health facilities, um, Sanford, Lakeland, Lake Region, um, Essentia, they all wanted to be a part of it. And that's what's really exciting is that they all wanted to come together, work together to broaden awareness on mental illness, um, hope, support, treatment, and to break the stigmas around it so more people can get the help they need without having to be so isolated and feeling like what's wrong with them. All right. So you're taking this series to uh, introduce us maybe to the topic of mental illness um, and uh, alleviate that stigma. So who are you uh, talking with and what are some of the things that we can expect to see and how long is this series? Right. So uh, this is going to be a series of eight videos and each video has three components. It has a simulation, which is the first person perspective. So we get an inside. That's why it's called a mental illness, a step inside or inside out, a step inside mental illness. Um, so it's really, it's really interesting uh, when we've interviewed and and done their story and what it's like to live with anxiety and depression. So it's a simulation. And then the next, the second part is an interview from that person. And then the third part is uh, we've talked to mental health professionals in the area, like White Earth Mental Health is talking, Sanford's talking. Um, different people have talked about uh, how you can support somebody, how you can get help, and what are options in our community. So it's really a a wide area of support. So on February 7th is the event, which we're calling the premiere because we're gonna show a little showcase of the video, not the whole thing, but little pieces of it. And then we have a panel, which is exciting because when do you get to go and get free advice from area mental health professionals? And you can either ask questions privately uh, through a piece of paper that a facilitator will ask, or you can get up and ask on a microphone. So you get to talk and it's also an opportunity to network both for mental health professionals and for people suffering or trying to support someone. Um, and then the follow after that, after February 7th, the following Wednesday, every week for eight weeks, we roll out a topic for that week. So one week will be on OCD, one will be on depression, next on anxiety, PTSD, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, Erica Gilsdorf is the producer of a mental health series, Inside Out, a step forward. A step inside a step, mental illness. A step inside mental illness, yep. uh, which we hear a lot about these days. And I know there's a high school group too called DL Thriving uh, that started a couple of years ago addressing mental uh, health issues with young people. So it affects everyone. I mean, I would say every other person you meet is affected or everybody I would say is affected by someone with mental health issues. Right. Even the Minnesota Department of Human Services is um, sponsoring this because they realize on a statewide level the the need for it especially in rural communities and and addressing the access to care if people have a crisis that's why um different groups like stellar human services like white earth again they're wanting to promote their crisis line because we in our community are really fortunate we have a 24-hour crisis line so that if you are at risk or know somebody who is there's always somebody on the other end of that phone that can answer mm -hmm. so this is really about broadening awareness and getting people to 
share their story and connect with each other. Is there something that you learned, uh, you know, working with this uh, issue and all these people when you come together and see this in front of your eyes, is there something that you learned that you didn't know uh, was available in our community or something new that you hadn't known before? Yeah, like I, I did not know, this is bad, but I did not know we had a 24 hour mental health crisis line. Mm-hmm. I did not know that. So that was really interesting and that it's staffed by people. And I, I've i talked to um, somebody, you know, Scott, who when I talked to him, he's like, oh, I just got the phone of someone. I'm like, wow, it's so amazing that there's somebody right there that can help you. I also have been really enjoying interviewing these mental health professionals because I've gotten to get little tips. Like we talked to somebody yesterday and I said, you know, how do you talk to somebody that you're, you're trying to support who is having challenges and could be potentially um, in a crisis mode. And, and they, I got great tips like, you know, don't be afraid to talk about it. Make sure you ask other questions like, are they, you know, assess, like, are they still seeing friends? Are they still getting out? And if you start seeing that they're not, then, then that's an indication that maybe you need to help because they're becoming withdrawn. So we've just learned great tips and also what not to do. Like, mm-hmm. like it's not good to say to somebody with depression, like, hey, it's a beautiful day. You should just be happy. Like, like that, that actually makes them feel more insecure about why they're feeling depressed and what's wrong with them. So it's been great to learn, you know, tips on how to help people and support people right. that are suffering. So really anybody who is walking on this earth needs to see this because uh, I just listening to you, I just think it's helpful for, you know, professionals, for teachers, for bosses, for, uh, you know, just friends, just your, you know, officials in every walk of life to know how, you know, to learn more about mental illness and how it may affect you, how to work with people with mental illness and a great opportunity uh, to do that and the availability of services within our community. I think that's the huge thing here too. Right, right. So the February 7th is a great thing if you can attend because we'll be able to, um, you'll be able to sign up so that you can get notifications when those videos come out. They'll be housed on Becker County Energize. Um, we'll also house them on LB Video and Latent Broadcasting, and they'll be free downloadable for, from us so that you can put them on your website, you can post them on your Facebook. It's a free resource that you can share, um, but you can also know where to go. So we really want people to come, and like you said, um, to be able to connect with other people from, a, a if you're suffering, to the, see like, wow, I'm not alone, there's a lot of people here, but two, if you also know somebody or in that profession, like you said, where you might work with people Anybody, though, coworkers, right. students. It affects everyone. Yeah, it is so, there's so many questions. We don't know how to help. And we always wonder, are we doing the right thing? What could we be doing? And here's an opportunity to ask questions and network. We'll have booths, uh, I forgot to, at 6.15. So the event starts at 7, but at 6.15, there's resource booths. And these, uh, they'll have re- you know, information and, and opportunities also to get information that way. All right. It's a very, uh, it's a huge topic, mental health. And we've got a series coming up here on uh, TV3 that will air. And uh, we'll talk about uh, more opportunities uh, to use these videos that have been produced by LB Video with Erica Gilsdorf here from Leighton Broadcasting. And a presentation on February 7th where folks will gather and kick off uh, this series here. And where is it going to be held again? It's at, at M State. M State. Yes. Okay. M State, 7 Detroit o'clock Lakes. here in Detroit Lakes on February 7th. All right. Very good. So make plans uh, to attend and uh, pass the word around. And you will be joining us next Friday in the studio with uh, someone who was helping you with these videos and talking about her experience a little bit. Um, Jessica will join us uh, next Friday here on HodgePodge. Anything else that we might be forgetting, Erica? No, I just, I just, like I said, encourage people to come and... And because it'll be both people supporting and getting help, you don't have to feel intimidated. Like, oh, people are going to think I'm, uh, that's part of the breaking the stigma is like, you know, step out and, and realize that there's support out there. Even if you want to learn about in case you do run into it in the future. All right. And it's like everybody knows somebody who's j- struggling a little bit with anxiety or depression or something. Right. Okay, Erica Gilsdorf from LB Video, a latent broadcasting company. And that is going to wrap up HodgePodge for today. Tomorrow we'll have folks in from Pelican River Watershed District talking about water quality. We got a lot of frozen water out there right now. So we'll learn more about that probably as well on Friday's HodgePodge. I'm Carol McCarthy, KVLM.